my tractor was in the shop and i'm gonna take you around front and let you see it's a mess boy i tell you look at that wow hey lovely people so uh Earlier today, I had the uh, last bit of gravel for now delivered, and I came, uh, well, I made a phone call over here to my case dealer and uh, was just checking on my uh, third function to see if it had gotten uh, installed yet, and they said they did get it installed yesterday, and they were going to uh, get the, uh, the tractor to the paint shop today, but when I first called, she said, oh, you haven't heard the news, and I said, what's that? And she said, yeah, our place burnt to the ground last night. I said, what? She said, yeah, our, our facility burnt. I said, well, I hope everybody's okay. And she said, yeah. And I said, well, let me ask you a selfish question. Is, was my tractor inside? And she said, no, it was our offices that burned. It wasn't the, uh, the actual shop. So my, my tractor was in the shop and I'm gonna take you around front and let you see the office which is literally right beside that uh, the shop where the tractor was <laughs> this is good look at this isn't that beautiful farm all 460 that's an old tractor right there I want to show you these grapples I'm looking at he thinks that this one's sold but he's going to check and see if it is or not because this is what i want it's a 72 inch wr long and it is the basically i guess root rake maybe it's called it's got the dual cylinders on the top that work independently and this is a pretty beefy piece of equipment these cylinders these hydraulic cylinders are heavy duty in comparison to some of the others that are just a little smaller in length i think this is a 64 inch right here much smaller when you go up to the 72 inch on this particular model anyway it, it's beefier now this one over here it's available and it's got the same big beefy cylinder but this one has the single uh upper uh, arm if you will that uh, grabs everything i i do i, I like the idea of this these two simply because like you probably have heard if you are picking up a, a tree and there's a slim log on wind one end and then big branches on the other end this clamp over here can tighten down lower and tighter on the more narrow load and this one can tighten down on the big load and it will equally hold on to the uh, material that you have in there where if you have one like this and you have something that's real thin over here but gets big and bushy over here it's going to not even connect on this side it will only be holding from this side and in my opinion that's going to cock it a little bit over time if that kind of thing happens much and potentially cause problems but yeah this is a sweet one this is nice i'm hoping it's not sold and i'm hoping that uh we can get this thing uh, so I'll be letting you know I'm supposed to get a call here as soon as he can find out but since their facility burned up last night they're com They've got computers and desks thrown out in the shop today trying to do business I can't imagine that that's terrible. So uh, They're going through it right now They're good people and they do good work for the community and apparently it was an electrical fire possibly so I'll walk around front and show you uh, what this looks like but I'm sure that was quite the scene last night here's a post hole digger a few of them I wonder what brand this one is that's Land Pride I wonder what they're running these days I may pick one of those up that's the field master there I checked on that one it's a little pricier than I want to spend. I'm not sure if the Land Pride is more or not, but we'll find that out as well. There's some pallet forks over there I need. That was their offices. 
that's the shop right there behind this RV where my tractor was at and this is the offices been in there several times as recent as last week it's not looking good for privacy I won't show you the name of it it's a mess isn't it Justin said I could get a little bit it's a mess boy I tell you look at that Wow. Yep, this was the offices of the dealership. And it don't look good. Thank goodness it happened at night and nobody was here. One of the first questions I asked was, they have a dog that's always in here when you come in. And I asked, was the dog here? And they said, no, we take it home. It, sleeps in the house so uh luckily no one was hurt no animal was hurt hopefully we'll get us a grapple and we got that third function done now and we got the paint the tractors over at the paint shop so i'll hopefully be getting it back here really soon but good insurance goes a long way hopefully they'll have a nice new state-of-the-art facility before too long how's it going
Well, there's the bucket. And what do you think about the grapple, guys? So we got the bucket sitting on some concrete blocks for now. I'm gonna get some pallets over here and try to set up my implements that I'm not, that I don't have on the tractor on some wooden pallets. I gotta get all this stuff off the ground. But check out my grapple. This thing is a monster. It opens to, I think, 70 inches. And I don't know that I've got it. It's almost all the way open because you can see the cylinders are, there's no more cylinder showing. So it's probably open practically all the way. Look at this big mouth on this puppy. Okay, this is my brand new WR Long 72 inch root rake grapple. This thing is a monster. I want you to look at this thick metal that we have on here. This thick, thick steel. Down here, we have, let's start at the, let's start at the, we'll go two inches over. So that's a full half inch right there. And that's on that bottom tine. And then you have all this beefy area on both sides of these in the center. These on these, on the edges, those are close to, what, three eighths right at it. I don't know if that sun's glaring on you. We'll come around on this side. Yeah, three eighths of an inch. And that's what you got on a lot of the outer sections and some of these inner areas. You got these huge, huge circular cylinders. These steel tubes that are, everything is mounted to. And uh, like I said, on this one, this one here is actually half inch as well. That's that center one that comes to the center tie, and that's where the cylinder is connected to. And you have that obviously on both sides. You got this big old chunk of steel down here. It's two and a half inches wide. And this one's only, let's see, that's only a quarter of an inch thickness right there, but with this big tie mounted to it. And then again three eighths of an inch on the outer tines uh, bottom line is this thing in all the right places it's beefy and in every area that it looks like they had the ability to save it from getting overly heavy it is the right dimension so i'm hoping that this particular tool lasts me for many years to come here's the third function hydraulics that we had added I'll show you this. It all originates, well, up at the stick, and I'll show you that in a moment, but this is the, I guess maybe I would call it the manifold for it, where they're bringing in from this area here, where all the other hydraulics originated from, they're bringing in additional hoses, uh, one from right here, and one that comes back from the, toward the back of the tractor, and it runs up through here. So these two lines are coming into this, section this particular piece right here and then we have our quick connects here so that when we're disconnecting the loader we would disconnect these along with these and then they run up and then they're on the inside of the loader arm and they've been mounted right there to come along and they meet the other lines that were already clamped right here so they just added them to that clamp and it comes right to here where it connects in where it then goes straight to the grapple then we have the connection right here into these lines that go out independently it tees off to each of these two independent hydraulic claws now I purchased this instead of the full um, I guess clamp the one piece clamp that goes all the way across I opted for the individual clamps that can clamp on an uneven load. So if you've got a real narrow tree trunk over here, but you've got some huge limbs angling out over here, this one will crunch down and get all of the big limbs and hold everything in tight, while this one will go even further in and grab a hold of that tree trunk and you've got a good solid grab on it when, you know, preventing just a that 50 percent or a portion of this uh grapple from holding the full load you get the ability for this entire grapple to hold the load 
but shoot she's a beast baby all right here's a full-fledged look at this i can't wait to see it in action so as you guys probably know there are two main types of grapples you have your and, and the terminology i can't really ever remember uh, i had it i had it just last week but i've forgotten it since then i slept since then but i believe this is what you call your root rake grapple and i believe the reason they call it that is you notice that the the skid steer connect is right here on this lower section of the grapple it's literally almost at the bottom of it these tines angle out and you can lower this and get it at the right angle and you can take each of these tines drop it into the ground and move along and just push up all the roots all the sticks brush and just push it into a pile and then you can pull your trigger on your handle up there which i'll show you in just a moment with your third function and you can clamp down on that big pile and just yank it up out of the ground now the other uh, style of grapple, instead of it having just this lower section with what I have called and heard people call the, the clamshell kind of, it's actually kind of like this, the clamshell kind of uh, function on it. What you've seen in the past is a lower section that comes out like my hand here. And it's more like a, I don't know, a uh, almost like a, bucket underneath but of course it's got the individual tines that go across and they tie together and it can be shoved up under a pile of wood you can clamp down on that and it leaves kind of an area in the center it does kind of like this right and it leaves an area in the center with that hole right there and if you have uh smaller things they are have they have the potential of not getting clamped on in the middle like this does this one clamps down all the way practically uh, th those kind of clamp down like this and some of that stuff can fall out however i've watched so many videos and i've been on the fence but this is the one i settled on the i think the benefit of the other style that has the the long bottom uh i believe that is because you can literally shove that up under a few logs or a bunch of firewood at a time clamp down and pick it up like you would a bucket and keep a lot of that in there where this is made i think really i'm hoping all right i'm right for for the needs that i have you know coming in kind of from the top angling it down grabbing what you want picking it up pulling it out moving it and so on um i obviously have down trees throughout the woods that i'll be pulling up the trails and i'll be going in the woods the best i can with this big beast of a tractor i call him big red and uh, getting in there to try to get those items out, drag them out, and then grapple them and do what I need to do with them. But uh, yeah, she's going to come in handy for moving rocks, boulders, for moving trees, for moving brush, clearing out the all of this uh, the edges of the woods. If I want to dig in there and pull stuff out, I've got so many dead trees in there. It's going to uh, be a very big benefit. So obviously there are a lot of manufacturers for grapples there are a lot of companies that uh, claim to have the toughest or the most extreme or the best of the best and i'm not saying that this is the strongest grapple out there because it's obviously not they make grapples for tractors that have a lot more horsepower and you do need to match up the best you can i think your tractor with the horsepower that that grapple is rated for now i was in contact with the manufacturers of um two or three different grapple manufacturers over the period of a few months but i narrowed it down to two and i had local distributors in my area that sold both of the two that i was looking at and that was part of the deal i mean we are on a uh, we got to kind of take what we find and what's accessible to us but i wasn't disappointed at all that wr long was one of those that i had available to me what really made me realize and I, i'm over the top for making a decision so that i don't make a bad decision uh, hence why i brought an electrical consultant in from the state today before i did any electrical work to make sure that we were doing it right well 
I went from yard to yard measuring the two different grapples that I had narrowed it down to, kind of like what I was doing for you a while ago. I took a lot of photos, but then I actually looked at where it was strong and where it was thick and where it was thinner. And I thought about the basically the engineering behind it. I looked at the welds and uh, on these particular ones that I was considering buying, I noticed the welds are very solid, very strong looking. And, but what sold this one to me was one of the, I believe it was one of the owners. I called WR Long and I, I bet you I spent easily 40 minutes on the phone with this gentleman. And we had an amazing discussion about grapples. He actually designed this particular one. He let me know why he designed it the way he did. He let me know how confident he was in its design for horsepower at, or sorry, for tractors at this horsepower level. I had already narrowed it down somewhat to this type of uh, uh, clamshell style, if you will. But he talked to me about both the single uh, clamp on top versus the double. He kind of actually leaned me toward the single just because he felt like it would do what I needed done and it cost a little bit less money than this one did. Uh, but I just had to have this one. So hopefully that was the right decision. But we talked about the other style with the long tines on the bottom. And uh, ultimately after talking to him, when I called him, I mean, and, and just so you know, he didn't sell me. He didn't try to sell me. He was just simply communicating and giving a lot of his precious time. I mean, he was a busy man and went above and beyond to help me. And by the way, at that point in time, he had no idea I had a YouTube channel. So it wasn't because I'm a YouTuber or whatever and have uh, an audience out there. It wasn't due to that at all. I was just a consumer who had a local dealer who had questions and wanted to make a good decision. And, and he was helping me to do that. Uh, he basically said, you know, do what's best for you. But before that phone call was over, knowing that I had already compared the two and knowing that I felt very good about this WR Long grapple, I told him that I made my decision. And I said, if nothing else, the customer support that you're providing to me right now uh, means a lot and goes a long way with me. And I know that if I have any issues with this, that they're a company that I can reach out to. They're American made. I'll get the details of where they're out of. But I told him, I said, like, I brought it up after the fact. I said, now I want you to know I've got a YouTube channel and I'm going to be testing this and working it hard. And I'm going to give the subscribers, the, the viewers out there, the audience, I'm going to give them my honest opinion and they're going to see this thing at work. And uh, I let him know that uh, I would report back to him. He actually requested. He said, "You once you get you know this all evaluated and you see what you think about it and you how you like it." He said, "Give me a call and let me know." So uh, I'm going to do that, and we're going to we're going to see if we made us a good choice here. But uh, yeah, let me take you inside. I also used the same manufacturer, WR Long, for this third function kit. And so again, everything that you see right here. All of the hoses that go all the way up to the grapple, uh, the hoses that go underneath that connect to the tractor, and the actual joystick uh, is all a WR Long kit for the third function. Now, I did not install, install it myself. I had my dealer do that, as you guys know. And my dealer didn't tell me, and I didn't, I didn't ask, but my dealer didn't tell me that they would not be using the uh, original hand grip the joystick grip that came with this tractor and i was so disappointed when i found that out because i really like the the feel of this and the ergonomics and one of the things that sold me on the 75c along with a lot of other stuff over the 75a was that this one was pre-wired with these little buttons that would control the motion of the the clamp on the grapple or, or for the it would control the third function but for a grapple it would control that motion uh, but here is the actual new joystick grip that i have for the uh the grapple so let's set this one over here and let's show you this one this is it right here now if you can see this there is a thumb function right here up top i have just kind of a standard 
uh, joystick and it still controls of course the the uh, the lift uh, the uh, the 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 bucket the curling the bucket and dropping the bucket and pulling the lift up and dropping it down and uh, now this will control the function of the grapple now the tractor's off but I'm gonna mash down on this and I'm assuming gravity's gonna let those two uh, clamps drop and they're dropping independently there's always gonna be one that's gonna be a little stronger than the other and then one that'll be a little weaker than the other now if this tractor was running obviously they would both shoot down let's see what happens I'm curious okay well that one up there just wants to hang on up there now there we go that one's all the way down let's take this thing and start it up real quick push down with my thumb and see what happens ready go okay that one went down now let's open them I'm gonna push up with my thumb right here here we go nice let's pump up the uh, throttle a little bit going to mess around a little bit more with this have fun with it and then I'm going to uh, show you guys on the upcoming video what this thing will do and uh, we're gonna move around a bunch of stuff clean up around here finally something I have been looking forward to and waiting on for a long time this I think makes this tractor or any tractor so much more beneficial so much more user-friendly it's a tool that uh, when I let's put it this way, when I bought my tractor, the dealer, the, the salesman, it was at a different dealership back then. He said, "There's well, he, he mentioned two things. I, I guess maybe one was the bush hog. He said you need two, it, no, two implements besides the bush hog. He said you need a grapple and you need a box blade. Well, the box blade was the first thing I bought. Then I got the uh, grader blade because I knew I needed that for my some driveway work." and now i've got this grapple i'm going to be probably busy doing work with this item and and the box blade on this new driveway and possibly the blade as well cleaning up some some ditches and stuff like that i'm going to be busy for some time with this and so it may be a minute before <clears throat> before we buy any additional implements plus this thing was more than some of the smaller ones obviously i mean it's heavier speaking of heavy this one, and I'm going to confirm real quick on my phone, the weight of this particular grapple, uh, I believe was, oh, uh, let me find it real fast for you. I may have deleted it because I, when I made my decision, I don't know that I kept it. I make notes to myself and text them to myself, but I'm going to confirm this for you, but I'm 99% sure that this one is 760 pounds. Now, that's not light, but it is lighter than many of the other ones that I was comparing it to, that some of those may have been a little bit even more pricey. Uh, but for what this had, the thickness of the steel and the quality of the steel in the places that I, I felt like it needed it, this was the choice I made. Also, I wanted to let you know the model number of this grapple. It is the RBGD. 72 72 is for how wide this thing is rbg is the style which i believe stands for root grapple and i'm not sure about the b but the d stands for dual so it's got the dual clamps on the top 
RBGD72. So I look forward to showing you this. Listen, if you like this content and you want to see this grapple in action along with the pond build, along with grading the driveway with the box blade and putting some solar panels out here and putting in a, an amazing solar system that I'm going to be telling you about very soon, uh, along with maybe digging a wheel, hooking up propane, possibly getting some chickens in a garden and maybe some livestock subscribe to this channel give it a thumbs up like it share it with people and comment we'd love to hear from you uh, and we look forward to seeing you here again at the lovely place good to see you today talk to you soon